Hi, I'm Matt Harvey with Enduro Bearings. Uh, we're here to talk today about what we've been up to. Uh, we've uh, been working on some new projects. We're always working on bearings, of course, it's in our name. And the latest one is uh, with a zero stack uh, bearing concept. Typical zero stack bearing is a combination of an aluminum cup with a bearing that drops in which is the industry standard. <clears throat> and it works, but um, you have two pieces that go together. What yeah, we've been that. able to do, <clears throat> because we make bearings, is we made this piece as one unit. So where usually you have two pieces together and pretty small balls in here. The balls are uh, 1 8 inch. With the max hit headset that's a single piece, we have 5 32nd inch balls which doubles the load capacity of this bearing. It's also all stainless steel. It goes in as one piece, so there's no chance of creaking or pieces um, rubbing against each other. And uh, the big advantage, again, is the ball. So if I could show you relatively what the ball size would be, if this was an eighth inch ball, it's scaled up, obviously, about five times. This is the ball size of what's inside the new Max Hit headset. And uh, you might say, well, why do I want this? Well, it'll take twice the load rating. With the long travel forks, you'll never replace your bottom headset bearing. It'll last forever. It's all stainless steel. It'll never rust. So no service. You can also, it's easy to adjust, easier to set up because the balls are larger. So we've also uh, taken the concept and we're bringing it over to bottom brackets with um, same same type of idea where usually you have a bearing pressed into an aluminum cup. We've made the whole thing as one single piece. So the outer cup that you see here is the outer bearing race. And what that allows us to do is to put a much bigger ball in it again. And that ball rolls at lower friction and you'll never wear it out. In fact, we're so confident in it, it has a lifetime warranty. And it's full stainless steel, it won't rust, and uh, you can, um, you'll prob it'll probably be the last bearing, last bottom bracket bearing you put in your bike. And again, for relative idea of the size of the balls, because you can't really see the balls inside, of course, but if this was a standard size bottom bracket bearing, which is popular these days, this is the size of the max hit ball bearing inside this one. And uh, again, what does that do? It rolls easier, less friction, and no maintenance. 